go. The whole mind make thing is essentially around how to structure your life so that whenever you're moving through an existential crisis, you can always go back to the framework that you've produced so that you never lost along the way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like I, it's, you know, that's the thing I feel like, I feel like we all have like our core self. Yeah. You know, and then we have the experiences that build up around it, Mm. you know, and they create this, um, this almost new being as it goes along. And I really love the, like the Buddhist concept that we're never, we're never the same person at any moment. Yeah. Right. I love that because we're always, always learning, taking things, taking new things in, having new experiences that shape us and make us something different in even minute ways, you know? And, and sometimes, yeah, it comes down to like, we need to get back to that core. Like you're saying, we need to get back to this, like, who, who is my foundation? Yeah. You know, what is my foundation? And am I, am I building on that foundation and acting on that foundation? Or have I gone away from that? And have I accepted more of the negative influences in my life? And therefore I'm breeding more negative influences or am I taking the negative influences in my life and turning them around and breeding positive influences? Yes, exactly. And, um, you know, even more deeply, why is that my foundation? Like, (laughs) why why is that narrative the story that I act out? Because when you go there, it's like, holy fuck, like, I'm I'm (laughs) nothing. And then it gets freaky. (laughs) (laughs) It does, you know, like when you sit down and try to strip away, like, all the religion and all the things that your parents have taught you and all of, like, the things that your friends have told you that you've believed for years and all your shitty ex-lovers have told you, you know, because they're assholes and they're trying to make you feel like an asshole, you know? Uh, (laughs) um, It's like when you strip all of that away, you're like, who am I actually? Mm. You Mm. know? Um, So that's like one of my favorite meditation practices is to like, like I'll sit down and I'll I'll like envision a forest. Yeah. And like one by one, I'll take things out of the forest. Like I'll take out the animals and I'll take out the tree or take out the grass and then I'll take out the sky and the trees. And it's like, it, at a point it becomes just a blank canvas. Wow. And it's like when you're breathing and existing and staring at that blank canvas, it's like, what, what are you in that moment when there's nothing? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. And you know what? I think just to, um, I don't want to give the whole book away, but it just like, it's so relatable in this experience is like, I think when you go to that level of depth and you really start to consider yourself and obviously well, that's a continuing journey when you really start to think about who you are and why you've become that person and you get down to the idea of it's like, Oh, well, I'm actually nothing. What I have <laughs> found in my own experience is essentially who do you want to be? You know, yeah. you start to realize the amount of layers that have been thrown and dumped onto you through external experience and all yeah. of that stuff. You get to the very bottom and you're like, okay, I'm actually going to build my own layers, build my own meaning and become who I'd like to be as opposed to right. all these other influences dictate my life. Absolutely. And, and it all comes down to making the decision to do that. Yeah. Like all, all of my friends who are, have been in abusive relationships or not just friends, but people that I've worked with and talked to like um, been in abusive relationships or have addictions or have things in their lives that they just like are perpetual, but their decisions yeah. they're because of decisions. Um, it never changes until that person is ready to change. Like, it doesn't matter how much fucking advice you give somebody to like, Oh, you should change this because you should do that. It might help. You should, you know, whatever, like no one's going to hear your advice until they're ready to, you know, and it comes that, that also comes down to being that self that you want to be. Yes, exactly. Yes. Because again, who's to say that the advice that you're giving the shit that worked for you will work for them. (laughs) <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like, this is just from my personal experience. But. Yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bro, I, th- I reckon we'll just leave all that shit in the podcast as well. That was awesome. <laughs> hey, that's totally fine with me.